Hey y'all, so I'm gonna show you how to create a nameplate necklace um, such as this. Let's see if I can show you what it looks like on, is that better? Like that. So I'm just using clear because this is just a test cut. Just a test cut. The real ones that I make will be in gold acrylic and um, silver acrylic. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to app.glowforge.com, click, once you sign in, click create, and then create a new project. At the very top of the screen, you're gonna hit the T for a letter, because you're gonna insert text and type your name that you want. Here is where you select the fonts. Um, I'm just gonna keep it on this one to keep things simple and short. And, we are going to insert a shape um, which is up here then you're going to um, click circle and we're just going to change it to 0.1 just a little disclaimer i had to redo this part of the clip so this one is 0.1 but in the rest of the video or at the end of the video you'll see that i i had cut it at 1.8 and i said i wanted to make it smaller so that is why you'll see a difference at the end of the video. Um, yeah. So then you're just going to come over and, and place your um, circle where you want it. We're going to grab another circle. And point one. And just adjust the size again. All right. And then we're going to, uh-oh. Oops. Grab that and just try to align it with the other one. All right, um, and let's move the name back somewhere. All right, so just make sure it looks good the way you want it. Um, and I think I'm gonna move this out a little bit more. Just adjust them where you want them. It's a little high. Okay, so I think I think that looks pretty good. So select everything, and then come to the right and create an outline. We're going to create new, and by default it is at 0.25, but you can adjust it. It won't actually adjust until you un let go of the dot. So we can try a little bit smaller. Uh, let's see if we go, what happens if we go a little bit smaller? Okay, so we need to do the step up because if you notice, now it just created two separate outlines. So the we need to um, uh -oh, go up from the 1.8. You can also type it in manually if you want to right so but that looks good um then we need to mirror our words our image because um if you don't mirror it then it it's going to engrave on the top of the acrylic and you'll be able to feel it if you mirror it um the part that it's actually engraving on is going to end up being the bottom side of the necklace which will be what is against the skin and it'll be smooth and shiny on the top so um, you need to make sure you click off and then highlight everything and then flip it horizontal, okay? Um, now, if you didn't do so already, cut your machine on. It will um, scan the bed and everything. Um, you, that's when you wanna um, have your materials loaded as well. Um, so this is what's on my bed now. I'm going to select everything and I'm just going to move it um, like over here somewhere. Okay. And then from there, you just got to hit ready. And it's going to uh, prepare your print. So it's auto focusing um, and doing this little thing. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Over here, you need to make sure that you select your material. This is the proof grade clear acrylic. And I'm actually, I want to engrave first. 
um, and then do the cutouts. So you can click and drag these and you can also edit what you want them to do up here as well. So you can do that for all of them. So these say cut, and that's their cut, and then this one is engraved. It's saying it will take two minutes and 30 seconds to do this cut. Um, I'm also getting the notification that it did not find proof grade material, and that is because the barcode is not on the piece of acrylic. It's not on there because this is a just a scrap piece of acrylic that I had from something else. So um, all you have to do is just go over to your machine and click the teal flashing button and then um, start your print and we'll be back. All right, so we're all done. And what? So that's it cut out. And then these are little pieces. All right, you guys. So this is what it looks like. I removed the tape. Um, and this is the first cut that I did with the holes that I was talking about that are a little bit too big. So um, in the beginning, you saw me um, on the clip that I redid that I adjusted the holes to 0.1 and um, I did not cut that out just because it's not necessary I'm not even going to actually be using these I just um, did it for the video technically but anyways um, just to show what it looks like um, these are the names. So you have to remove the tape off the front and the back. And that is how you create the nameplate necklaces. Um, if you are interested in getting the Glowforge, I will put a link down at the bottom that can help you save up to $500 off your machine. I'll also post a link to the acrylic that I use. Um because the Glowforge proof grade, all of their materials are sold out, seems like all the time. So um, I did find some good acrylic on um, Amazon that cut really good. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. All right, bye.